Hey, it's Chris Jenkins of CharlotteVibe.com, and we have a final score today. Carolina Panthers 21, New Orleans Saints 31. Carolina Panthers now fall to eight and four. The New Orleans Saints climb up to nine and three. And really, they're the front runners in this NFC South race. You know, the NFC South is really good this year. Saints, Falcons, and the uh, Panthers. But you gotta say that the Saints are the ones that are a notch above and looks like good guys to, to win this, this conference. Um, a few things from this game today. You know, our defense started out slow, just like they did last week. And that's a little interesting because all season long, you didn't notice that, but they did last week up in New York. They did this week down in New Orleans against the Saints. And I don't know what that's about. You know, it is getting late in the season, but you know, a lot of these guys are veterans. They shouldn't be coming out slow like that. So that's a little bit of a concern of mine, how the defense is starting out the games. Carrying on with the defense, they allowed over 100 yards rushing in the first half. Really unheard of from this team. They also allowed 21 points in that first half. Again, unheard of things. You know, I can't wait to talk to Coach Wilkes tomorrow. Hope you guys, uh, if you're not following me on Twitter, please do so. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, do so. And I'd like to say I work for you guys. So any questions that you guys have, want to have answered or, you know, ask, want me to ask coaches, let me know. And I have no problems doing that for you guys, but I'm really going to be eager to hear what Wilk says about this team. A lot of you guys are going to want to criticize the tackling on this team today. Uh, I saw a lot of that on Twitter, and I actually seem like people are really anxious about this game for uh, the, the Panthers. But you got, if you look at the, that game, you know, yeah, these Saints running backs, both of them were doing a great job running over, but they're just some really good guys. And you look at what people are saying about those two before the game. Even their own teammates are talking about how hard these guys are to tackle and how they don't come down. And, and it wasn't like, other than that first play by Shaq, it wasn't like these guys were just trying to hit them and, and just knock them over. They were hitting them, they were wrapping up. And just, I mean, these guys got a good running style and that's why they're nine and three and in the position that they are. So I, I say more so tip your hats to the Saints running backs for their power running and talking about our guys and their tackling. Yeah, there were some mistakes, but I still think that was more so how good those Saints running backs are. This game, uh, turnovers, we didn't have a lot of them, but we had some costly mistakes with Kalen Clay's punt return that he fumbled. I kind of felt like that was gonna come. You know, the opportunities that we may have had was lost there. We had uh, Polardi who's still doing a Great job with the punts. He he bobbled the snap, didn't uh, didn't able, didn't able, was not able to get that kickoff, and that hurt us. And then, man, we just had some untimely penalties that Julius Peppers with his wrestling move taking a guy out. That just seemed really like Peppers might have not even known where he was or something. That seemed really really uncharacteristic. But those were all the things that just piled up and piled up and and hurt us. And then. I always talk about adjustments, and I feel like Coach Shula does not do a good job making adjustments. We get the ball at the start of the second half, put up zero points. Zero points in the third quarter, and we're already down, and we're playing away on the road in the in the Superdome or Mercedes-Benz State uh, Dome, whatever that's called, and couldn't put up any points in that third quarter. And we allowed the Saints to put up some points, and that put us that put us behind. We had to change. We had to go to running. I'm sorry, we had to go to passing. And our team is not explosive yet. We got a lot of weapons, but we have not maximized just being explosive on the offensive side without the defense helping us out. And they beat us. Again, I feel like this game today was more about how good the Saints were. Yes, we made some mistakes, but it was more about how good the Saints were. They're, they're a solid team and they beat us. <laughs> uh, a positive that I saw today was that Cam Newton targeted nine players Seven caught passes. I like that. He's spreading the ball around, but Funches also struggled today. I love Funches. I love me some Funches, man. Uh, the guy I've been, been touting as a ball hawk, he, he's aggressive. And he just, it was several times that he should have caught a ball today that he didn't catch. And then on the, the uh, fourth down play, coming up short, I'm sure he knows it, but you got you got to run that deeper. Now, you at least got to run one yard deeper so you can have, allow yourself room to come back to that ball get it and still get the first down and we didn't do that so overall yeah definitely disappointed we are still eight and four we are still solid in that wild card spot and what we have to do now for sure is handle business at home protect the house if we protect the house we protect the house 
then we have a good chance to win this. Next three games are home games. We got the uh, Vikings, Packers, and the Buccaneers that are our next three home games. We finish off against the Falcons and Atlanta. So stay tuned. Again, anything I didn't answer you guys want me to address, leave it in the comments below. Any questions that you want me to ask either the coaches, uh, Rivera, or Wilkes, or Shula tomorrow, leave the comments below. It's Chris Jenkins. Thank you guys for watching.